But anyhow, I thought I'd show you where I'm at with the Vega process. Um, yeah, I was things were pretty dry yesterday, and I was really tempted to pull the chains off the tractor, but I still may because there's not much ice out there. It's mostly slush. But anyhow, the <clears throat> Vega, I was losing sleep over what I did to this oil pan. It was, uh, I beat the crap out of it to make it fit. So I broke down and I bought a store-bought oil pan and Moroso. It's designed for this setup. It's a racing oil pan. It holds six quarts of oil and it's got a baffle in there to help uh control the oil flow. Where mine is kind of butchered. I was concerned with the, the seams here that they might break, leak. And uh I didn't want to jeopardize the, the motor. I figured we just will get the right one. And I've also got a few other uh, new pieces and parts. I've got a Champion radiator and I bought a gas tank. Of course that's made in Taiwan. But I found a gas tank that's designed for a 57 Chevy that's really close. I may have to massage it a little, but I'm thinking I can make it work. And I've got a whole box full of new pieces. I want to thank my buddy Dave for sending me this pulley and the bracket. Chrome. More power. And I got a steering wheel that I've had for a while and some gauges. That I'm hoping to put in there. And anyhow, there's the brake booster off of the S10. I plan on putting that on there. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the booster on there or not. It's very large. It's get, it looks like it's going to be in the way. So I think I may just go with manual brakes. But anyhow, I'm kind of uh, in a holding right now. I'm ready to put the motor in. However, I want to get the title in my name before I assemble this thing. My, I don't have a title for it. And in order to do that, I've got to call the sheriff and have him come out and verify the, the check out the VIN and make sure it's okay. <coughs> and he'll run it through the system and make sure it's not stolen which is my biggest fear. I don't want to don't want to lose it with all my good parts in there. I did put new uh, struts, strut shocks on here for the lift gate cuz it wasn't staying open. So those are new and but that's all I'm going to do to this thing until I get the title in my name and get get it squared away. So here's the donor vehicle, the S10 that I bought for the front spindles and the rear end. I got all my parts out that I need, I believe. I took the motor apart. I did some work under the hood. And I found somebody that wants the whole thing after I'm done to part it out. So it's going to go away here pretty soon. Anyhow, I'm sure I'm going to regret, I'm going to need parts out of it, but I don't want the junk laying around the yard. I kind of got to keep things up uh, around here. But yeah, it's kind of a rough S10. It's, uh, it's been around the block, so to speak. A lot of miles, a lot of smiles. So it's going to find a new home. So yeah, there's a lot of good parts left in it. I took the brake brake stuff and all the suspension parts. So anyhow, 
that's it for this phase of the project. Thanks for watching.